Oh, here it is. Today, we're reading from the book of Job right at the end. And one of the interesting things about Job is he talks about behemoth. We heard about that yesterday. And today, in uh, chapter 41, we're going to hear about the Leviathan. And as I read the, these two chapters, it, it makes me think that perhaps there were still a few dinosaurs around when Job was living on the earth. But that's not really why I wanted to talk to you about the end of Job. It is interesting that our God is in absolute control uh, of the world today, and he was in the control of the world back then, including all the, the big dinosaurs. But what's really important for us to know as we read the book of Job is to remember how this God who controls the world and all these huge animals, whatever they were, Behemoth and Leviathan, how does this all-powerful God feel about me? And at the beginning of the book, the Lord, Lord in all capital letters, the Savior God, says to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? And then the Savior God in his love allows horrible things to happen to Job. And Job says some horrible things about God. He's angry at God. But you know how the book ends? The Lord, in Job chapter 42, again calling him my servant Job. What more could you want than for God to put his name on you and claim you as his own? You know, the toys just remind me that in Toy Story, one of my favorite parts of Toy Story is when Woody looks at the bottom of his uh, boot and Andy is written on the bottom of Woody's boot. That's what make, made him special. He belonged to Andy. I don't know what you're going through right now, but in Christ I want you to know that the God who controls the nations and controls all the power of this world has put his name on you. And he's saying, you are my servant. How do I know that? Because in the gospel lesson, Matthew 22, verses 1 to 22, the Lord Jesus tells this marvelous parable about sending out his servants to, to gather people in and he gathers them from the highways and byways whoever they are whatever you've done I don't care Jesus says I want you in my banquet and you go well maybe I don't fit the only time you don't fit is when you you think I gotta fit in by doing all the right stuff trying to wear your own wedding garment read that parable and recognize that through faith in Christ, you are clothed in the perfect wedding garment, that your sins are forgiven. The Lord didn't call Job my servant Job because he did everything right and he said everything right. He called him my servant Job simply because he is the Savior God who loved Job and forgave Job. And that's true of you and me too.